What up, you sexy fucks? It's your boy Iceman in the building. Been a little bit since I did a little commentary like this, but I figured I'd do a little off-topic uh, commentary regarding, you know, just a few things I'm going through in life. Not really going through, but doing, um, currently involved in, etc. You know, my son is currently 17 months old. He's walking around. You know, he's into everything, man. You know, from one minute, he's right in front of me. I turn my head for a millisecond. The guy's over there chewing on an outlet. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not really. You know, he's not really chewing on an outlet, but you get what I mean. He's into everything, guys. Um, he's definitely a bundle of joy for sure. Um, it's Parenthood isn't really what people crack it up to be. Like, everyone's like, oh, you're having a kid. Your life is over. Um, it's nothing like that at all. He's definitely... It's definitely an awesome experience. So, you know, for any of you guys out there that got your girlfriends pregnant recently or are about to go through that, don't worry about it. You will do just fine. Um, you will grow up very quickly. I will tell you that, though. So it's definitely a great learning experience. And, you know, it's just an awesome feeling, you know, looking at your child and knowing that you, that is your seed. That is your spawn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, so this Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I'm going to give you kind of an in-depth kind of feeling about what I get from this game. I love the game. Um, as you can see, I was trying to get a little Boltock headshot action there. But the game is just so crisp. As you guys can see, I render my videos at a 26 million bit rate. Um, so pretty much the highest bit rate that you could possibly render your videos in. I render that because my upload speed is just so good that I really don't care about file size because I want you guys to get the best possible quality that, that there is. So you guys are always gonna see this in the, this gameplay footage in the, the most crispy, clear quality that you can possibly imagine. So this is 1080p, 60 FPS right now. And I gotta tell you that 60 frames per second really does make a hell of a lot of difference when you're in shotgun battles or you're just running around the map in general it's just so smooth and clean you don't stick to near as half as many walls because this was gears one and i was running around like that you see i was kind of hugging the walls there i wasn't sticking to them like you would in gears one so you know the cover system is definitely fixed in this game i love the game um what makes this game feel a little like Gears 3, for one, the bloom on the reticle, okay? Uh, don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about the bloom on the reticle. In Gears of War 1, there was technically a bloom. However, you just couldn't see it. Um, obviously, you're going to have a better, you know, you're going to have better accuracy hard aiming a shot rather than a pop shot. Because even in Gears 1, when you pop shot your bullets, they're not going to be dead on accurate. You know, they're going to go a little bit. When you pop out of cover really quick and go for a pop shot, you know, they're going to be a little bit off from where you're, you're going to aim at. So it's the same thing that applies to this. Yes, you have a bloom, but your shots are dead on point pretty much. Um, so it's just like Gears 1. You can still pop shot, guys. Don't let the bloom uh, make you think that it's like Gears 3 because it's not. Uh, you can't you can't pop shot for shit in Gears 3, but I will tell you that you can pop shot in this game. Um, the bullets do come from the center of your screen in shotgun battles, so if you guys are really used to Gears of War 3 Nasher, you're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting. Um, however, it was easy to adjust to. Um, now when it comes down to the dedicated servers, the game's connection is flawless. Um, and that's by far what I think makes this game feel like Gears 3 a little bit is the connection because when you're playing Gears 1 you're used to that lag you're used to that you know half a second you know to a quarter second bullet lag um, so where you have to lead your shots so you're gonna have to get used to you know not leading your opponents anymore and that's what I feel like the biggest thing in Gears of War 3 was is that it's always dead on accurate you just you basically drag your cursor over their head and fire. And here's one, you had to lead your shot a little bit. So um, that's what I believe makes the game feel closest to Gears 3, is the improved co cover system, the omnidirectional rolling, and the dedicated servers. However, the overall movement speed, the game is played slower paced, just like Gears of War 1. The character models are all the same. Um, however, they are updated a little bit and they do look a lot better. But, you know, 
overall, you know, picked up a nice little dub there. I think I go on a rampage with Sniper here, so be sure to grab the popcorn. Um, but over and all, overall, this game is amazing. Um, it's definitely worth pre-ordering. You can weapon slide in this game. Not the wall slide that I just did there, but you can weapon slide. I don't believe I had the weapon slide mastered at this point in this gameplay because this is a little bit older gameplay right when I first picked up the beta. But you can weapon slide. Um, I believe Like Butter posted a weapon slide tutorial up on his channel. Feel free to go over to his channel and check that out. Um, just search Like Butter Gears of War on YouTube. You'll find his channel if you don't know who he is. Um, he's a good friend of mine. He posts really good videos. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, I'm definitely going to go to midnight release to get this game. And it probably will be one of the only games that I'm going to play on Xbox One, to be honest with you, because this is by far my my most favorite Gears of War game that's been released thus far. Um, I am going to be getting Gears of War 4 in 2016 as well, but I don't know if it's going to top this. Just because I love Gears of War 1 so much, um, Gears of War 4 is looking more like Gears of War 3, but then again, we haven't even seen any multiplayer gameplay for it. All we've seen is a little bit of campaign gameplay, um, and we didn't even see that much action in that campaign trailer. So I'm not going to jump the gun and make an assumption on something that I don't know until I you know, get a beta. So I believe, this is what I've heard, I believe that there's going to be a Gears of War 4 beta released with the Ultimate Edition um, for, ooh that was clean as fuck. So I do believe that there is going to be a Gears of War 4 beta released with the Ultimate Edition. But I'm not sure exactly. I'm not, I read that in the comment section. Someone said that that uh, that they announced that at E3, but I didn't hear that myself, so don't quote me on it. But I think we're gonna be uh, we are definitely gonna probably get a beta for the Gears of War 4, and that just from a business standpoint, that just makes sense to me. Like, hey, pre-order Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and you get access to the Gears of War 4 beta. They're probably gonna sell more copies if they do that. You know what I mean? So for uh, remastered edition the guys this game is only gonna cost forty dollars and it comes out August 25th so make sure you guys you know go ahead and pick up your copy for all of you that were saying that the shotgun was broken in this game and that the registry was shit um, just know that they have fixed that uh, my friend drew like butter played an updated version at e3 and he said the shotgun was really on point um, because the shotgun was nerfing a little bit during the beta but then again it is a beta guys so it's gonna have a little bit of bugs but other than that, guys, I'm working at Gold's Gym as a fitness consultant right now. I'm doing good for myself. Life is great, and I'll be sure to make some more videos for you guys. And the biggest announcement that I wanted to say is submit me your Gears of War Ultimate Edition clips via Unlisted on YouTube. Okay, so upload your video, uh, upload your clips Unlisted to YouTube and send me them. I'm going to make a community tage for this game. I look forward to your clips, and see you guys next time. Peace out.